Hey there, Mike with Glampin' Life, and today we're going to talk through the differences between a properly uh, aired up tire and a tire that has had too much air in it at one time. Balloon wheels are meant to be a very low pressure tire that squats. So not like a uh, car tire or a basketball or a soccer ball where they want to be um, filled up with air. These just need enough air to start to round them out because, as you can see in the picture, the wheel on the left at one point has had too much air, whether it was pumped in or they put the max in and once the tire gets out into the heat, air pressure will build. That's common in any type of tire. The problem with balloon wheels is the material that they're made out of, they will stretch. When they stretch, they do not stretch back. So what happens is even though the tire on the left has the same amount of air as the tire on the right, you can see that that wheel has been stretched out. It has not started to deform, um, but that will happen if you put too much air in these tires. They will stretch out and uh, look like a cone head or, or develop a large lump in them. So it is imperative, even though the wheels say max two to three PSI, you never want to put the max air pressure in. Again, these tires are meant to squat, so you need very, very little air in them. It will not hurt them like a regular car tire. When a regular car tire is, is low, you can damage the sidewalls and, and hurt the, the cords in the tires. Not the same with a balloon, uh, a balloon wheel. These are not designed like a tire where there's a bead that they seal on when you fill them up with air. These are like an inner liner, so you can't get to the inside of the actual tire. So, this is a good illustration of the tire on the right has never been overinflated, and a tire on the left has. It'll never regain its form once you've overinflated them. The profile of the tire should be almost like a square and not rounded like the wheel on the left. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, or hop on live chat on our website. We are happy to help or answer any questions you have. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.